Recurve Sunday, we shoot over water and we shoot over 70 meters. Coming up right now, it's the bronze medal match in the Recurve women's team event. Little breeze in the air. But, uh, we take a look at how the teams have got here. It's the losing semi-finalists that face off for the bronze medal and Korea, well, they dominated Iran in the top semi-final and the People's Republic of China took out Chinese Taipei even more comfortably. So Iran versus Chinese Taipei for bronze here in Shanghai. The athletes are waiting in the wings. Let's welcome them out onto the range here in Pudong, Shanghai. Right, here we go then. It's Iran versus Chinese Taipei for the bronze in the women's team recurve here. Nilufar Alipur, Shiva Shujam here, and Zara Namati going on target one for Iran. Tanya Ting, Li Chen Ying, and Peng Chimao for Chinese Taipei on target two. And the astute amongst you will notice that uh, Zara Nimati is in a wheelchair. She is, in fact, uh, Iran's very, very best recurve archer, competing in uh, the Rio Olympic Games, both at the Paralympic and Olympic venues. Let's just get her chair in place for the start of this match. So the way teams work uh, in, an, in a normal setting is they rotate up onto the line to be able to shoot. Uh, with someone who is in a wheelchair, the way that works is a, she would probably shoot first in the rotation. So she would shoot and then as soon as she is done, she raises her hand and that indicates she is done shooting and then her teammate can cross into the, to the shooting line and be able to shoot. Um, and then it rotates just as normal. Um, but yeah, it should, it's shaping up to be a really good match. Yeah, it should be very interesting. So Iran versus Chinese Taipei, and it's Chinese Taipei to shoot first. <laughs> Shooting over 70 meters in the Olympic discipline of recurve archery. One right, one left, so uh, if all goes to plan, this one will be straight down the middle. Yeah, seven's not, not really where you want it to be. They might have had a little bit of wind or she's just not sighted in quite yet. So three arrows uh, from Chinese Taipei. We switch over to Iran. They'll shoot their first three arrows. That's a good shot. Not so fast. 
So you saw her indicate there with her hand so her teammate can come in. Um, it's kind of interesting that she's shooting in the middle in the rotation, but... Well, again, pulling over to the right, but leading by one at the halfway stage in the first set. So set points are what's up for grabs here. If you get the best score over the six arrows in a set, you get two points. And then the uh, the first to five wins. If the the teams are tied at a four four tie, then they would shoot a shoot off. So potential for a 53 total for Chinese Taipei with a 10 here. Be the first 10 of the match if we see it as well. Well, 51, so big opportunity for Iran here. Good shot. Takes the pressure off her teammates. She didn't seem super happy with that shot just by her reaction, but still a nine is, is good enough for her team right now, so I see her making an adjustment there. It's a big opportunity here now. Six points to level. Anything more? They've taken the set points, and there is our first spider hit there by the Iranian team. A 55 and two points there for Iran after the first set. An interesting start. Um, I know it's difficult to talk about groupings in team events. Uh, but uh, certainly the arrows are quite close together, suggesting there's a lot of good communication in both teams. Yeah, I think uh, Iran is really good at, at starting out here, and uh, they have one that's like so close to the center of the X. Uh, but their grouping is a little bit low. I think they're going to make some adjustments, but these are awesome shots right here. Yeah, that's a nice 10, but uh, this one... Whew. What a shot that is. That's uh, that's right in the middle, isn't it? That's definitely what you're going for. Good start from the Iranian team. Chinese Taipei, though, have a chance to fight back in the set system. One thing that I noticed of both teams is that they are very good at managing their time. Each archer looks really comfortable up on the line, and none of them look like they're in a rush for time, which is very important when you're in these finals matches. So second set, uh, Chinese Taipei trailing by two points. We'll shoot first here. Athletes can rotate the order. They don't have to shoot in exactly the same order for the first three and the second three. That's the first 10 we've seen from Chinese Taipei and uh, they certainly needed a good start. So 28 out of a possible 30. Stray seven is is uh, a little disappointing to Iran, but if they put a few more in the ten, it's definitely redeemable. Oh, <laughs> 
I think her uh, coach was telling her to move her side a little bit. She seemed a little jokingly about moving her side even more. It's a good 10 there. But trailing by two here at the halfway stage in the second set. Very smooth, very relaxed. Okay, very calm, smooth action there. Chinese Taipei have settled into their rhythm. So 55 with Iran chasing a potential total score of 56. Uh, so we need some big arrows from Iran for them to stay in touch right from the start. That's a good way to start. Still looking for a 10 though. Zara Namati shooting in the middle. They need one more 10 here to uh, to gain any set points here, or even a nine would uh, would help them split the set points. Time ticking away. Pulls it into the seven, though, and uh, that brings things all level. Chinese Taipei take the second set 55 to 53, and uh, Chinese Taipei have really settled into their rhythm. They took the first set to get into it, but now they're really dialed in. Yep, and I think, like I said in the first end, that, that timing is so important, and that the last archer from Iran was a little bit pushed for time. Well, here are all the arrows from Chinese Taipei through the first two sets. I think what you'll notice is you've got each archer has their own little grouping. Yeah. So to the left, you've got an archer. To the right in the top corner, you've got an archer. And then the bottom right, you've got a, an archer. So I think they're all going to make those adjustments so that they can be right there in the 10. And they're trying to get to that little cross in the middle, which is uh, known as the spider, the center of the target. So two apiece here in the women's team bronze recurve match. And uh, the 10 from Chinese Taipei here. That is a cracker, isn't it? Not quite as good as the one in the first set, but not yeah. bad. So here we go, set three here in the women's team recurve bronze medal match. It's all square between Chinese Taipei and Iran. Oh, that's a great start to the third set. Chinese Taipei really have the momentum behind them now, but we know that one straight arrow can really throw a team off. That was a lot quicker shot. The second archer from Chinese Taipei has, has consistently shot a longer process on her shot, and that one was way quick, and she was rewarded for it. Well, you suggested they were all in their groupings in different places around the target. Well, it looks like they have all adjusted well. Over to Iran. How can they respond to a perfect start to the third set from Chinese Taipei? There's a wobble there on the hold. Yeah, it was a longer shot for her as well, just holding a little too long. Ten. 
10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 Well, they all seem to have drifted on to the left side of the target. Yeah, and it just seems that uh, it took a set for Chinese Taipei to get into this, and they've really found their rhythm. Well, they can put this out of reach here. 56 will give them the set points. Pressure really off uh, the anchor archer from Chinese Taipei now. Just like that, that is now out of reach. Uh, Iran can only score 55 as a total, so it will be 4-2 to Chinese Taipei. And Mackenzie, in this situation, uh, in some respects, it, not a bad one. The pressure's right off. They can just go back to process now. Yeah, I. the only thing is, is I wouldn't underestimate any team from coming back because right now, even though the set points are out of reach, this is a really good chance for Iran to shoot some arrows and get back in the middle like they were in that first end. Certainly better shooting so far from Iran in the second half of this set. Pressure's all off. So three nines to finish off for Iran, but uh, no match to four tens out of six arrows for Chinese Taipei, especially when the other two were nines. Uh, so, you know, th those four tens, they've really found the center. It took them a set to get into the match. They were pretty strong in the second set, but this is wonderful shooting here. Four tens out of six arrows. And that is that fourth ten. High fives all round, and no wonder they're in control here, four two. But Mackenzie, as he said, uh, set points, two set points up for grabs, and uh, there's no reason why uh, the Iranians can't get back into this. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, set play is is kind of frustrating and and rewarding at the same time. It's okay to have a bad end because you can come back with sets and, and win it. You know, I, I think uh, this is a chance for Iran to push back and potentially, you know, take it to a shoot off. Well, trailing, they will shoot first in this set and that uh, gives them an opportunity to put the pressure on Chinese Taipei. They need to shoot good arrows to do so. Like I've said before, I think uh, it's really important to make sure you maintain your process timing. Right now, all Iran wants to do is shoot arrows in the 10, which is great. But when you try too hard and you slow your process down, you usually don't get the 10s that you really want to shoot. Yeah, seven to start was not uh, what they were looking for. Really good shot from the, the third teammate. So Chinese Taipei know what target they are going after. The way they've been shooting, they would expect to be at least one, perhaps two points ahead at the halfway stage in this set. And a nine is a cracking start for them. Shot 
Well, a longer hold, and that was the result. So, in fact, after the first three arrows, it's Iran that are leading this set. That was a bit of a surprising one. Yeah. Dropping into a six there. No score so far. Iran have a reprieve. It's not really one sh what you want to do to capitalize on a mistake. Yeah, leaves the door open to catch up. She didn't look too happy with that shot, I think. Just got away from her a little bit, but... Pressure on now. Seven. That's pulled out into the seven. So, uh, well, a realistic target for Chinese Taipei to go after here. But this fourth set has thrown a few curveballs for us all to watch. <laughs> Happy with that one. Back a little bit more to what they're used to. 54, the potential total here. Bit of breathing space. And that will really take the pressure off the anchor athlete for Chinese Taipei. Five, in fact, enough to take this. They need to share the set points, and it's a nine, and Chinese Taipei have taken the bronze medal here in Shanghai. Six set points to two. What a brilliant performance from them. A wobbly last set, though. Yeah, just a, a little bit of a, a scare, I think, for, and that's where you see these, these athletes kind of giving each other a little flack, but... Uh, I think they they came out with the win and they did what they they were planning on coming out here to do.